Okay, my friends, we have some very exciting news. There is a new studio happening. <laughs> I'm filming you on fisheye. I'm sorry if the quality is horrendous and I'm also basically in the dark, but I wanted to show you my new studio. Hang on. The fan in the bathroom is running. It's gonna drive me nuts. Okay, so welcome to my studio renovation video. Um, this is my new studio. She's very cute. 1920s um, building. So she's got some quirks. She's very fun. Beautiful fireplace, doesn't work. But that's okay, we love her anyway. We're gonna put stuff up here on the mantle. She's gonna be gorgeous. Um, this is basically where my desk is gonna go. So that's super fun. And then we have a kitchen. She's cute. There's a lot of work. Maybe I should point that out. A lot of work that's gonna be done. I'm gonna get to painting the floors because they're tragic. Um, also gonna paint the fireplace. Gonna paint it black, I believe. But I think like a high gloss black. Uh, she's just got some paint all over her. So she needs a little bit of love. Um, also, I will show you this in the daylight too. <laughs> it's nighttime. Um, gonna paint these shelves again. Not that you can tell, but they do need some work. Um, again, painting all of the floors. We don't want any of this. Um, but here's our little kitchen. She's cute. Uh, might put some open face shelves up here. Cause I think that would be fun. Um, this is gonna be my little lounge area. Like a little break room. I'm gonna have like a little chair. I'm gonna have a desk for um, when I'm processing my tools, that kind of thing. Super, super tiny room. Uh, the cutest thing, let me show you. It's an ironing board. Literally so precious. Um, yeah, it's like a 1920s ironing board. But it's like Murphy bed. So you can see it says like Murphy. Murphy door bed, but it's an ironing board. We love it. Flip that one up. And then through here, front door, here's our little hooks. Okay, so this, a little bit of misunderstanding with my super. There's a cupboard here, which I asked him to put a door back on, but he put a door on the hallway, which is fine because we love him. He's great. So I think I might just, hang like a curtain rod with like a heavy curtain here just to block it off so I can like hang coats in there and put my vacuum down there because otherwise there's no storage in here. So I'm gonna do that. And if we turn around here, we have the bathroom. I'm gonna turn this on so there's gonna be a fan. Um, standard bathroom, again, unpleasant flooring. Gonna paint that. Random shelf, then I'm gonna paint this. Ooh, maybe pink. That could be cute because it doesn't seem to want to come out. So we'll see. Oh, actually, it might have to come out. I'm thinking about wallpapering the bathroom. Um, and by I, I think about, well, I think I'm wallpapering. I mean, I think I'm gonna request that my mom do it for me because it seems like a good mom job. Anyways, that's it. Oh, did I already mention the chandelier? She's going. Um, that's it, it's very exciting news. I'm gonna get started on that this Sorry, my bag. Um, I'm gonna get started on this this week and I'm going to move in here end of December and start taking appointments early December in here. I'm, it's gonna be so fun. So I have a lot of work ahead of me. Can't wait to show you guys.
have a studio update. Hello, Pat. Um, painted the kitchen floor. Pat did. Beautiful job. Looking great. Strawberry can walk on it. Painted the bedroom floor. Looking great. There's the neon. Um, knobs. Cute little crystal knobs on the cabinets. Painted the cabinets as well. Uh, I still need to put those cabinets up, but that will be a job for later on. Um, Pat touched up a lot of paint in here. Um, you already saw we painted the fireplace. We have a task rabbit coming shortly because we're installing these polish shelves here. Uh, try ourselves. Leave it up to the professionals. The bricks are being weird. Yeah, so this is brick behind here, which I didn't realize. But the worst drill ever. Yeah. Like actually, I stole the drill from my mom's house and I'd like to return it. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, so we have a task driver coming to install that. He's also gonna install the neon above the fireplace. It's just gonna be very cute. My super installed these cute little lights. Oh my God, I can see your reflection in the lamp, Pat. <laughs> um, so we got these, this IKEA light installed here. It looks great. Um, the stove is truly in the middle of the room. It needs to go back in there. But tomorrow actually, the rad's broken, which has caused drama. Um, but tomorrow we have electricians coming in to install baseboard heaters, which would be great because it's cold in here right now. Um, I also have the Wi-Fi get coming tomorrow. And then through here, bathroom floor is painted. Everything's white. It won't be like this forever, but it's like this for now. <laughs> um, that's really it. That's the update. Took the door off. Oh yeah, Pat took this door. There was a door in this door right here. Pat took that down. TBD on what's going to happen there. If the door is going to stay down, we're going back up. Anyways, keep you posted. <laughs>
this specifically pat emptied out a bag on this ledge of all my gems and charms this scares me <laughs> i need to do something about it so let the organizing montage begin actually a shoot I'm doing with Missouri. So not only does my studio need to be cute, I need to be cute. Um, so I'm just, everything's like pretty, like looking pretty good. The studio's not gonna be completely done, not gonna be perfect. I mean, I did move in like yesterday. Um, so that's to be expected, but I just want it to be like clean and organized. I'm putting everything in the bedroom that like, I don't have a place for just yet. Um, which is totally fine, but I do, I'm going to pull out some chairs. I don't know how many people are coming this afternoon, so I'm going to pull out some extra chairs um, to make sure that everyone can sit. But other than that, um, I'm basically like just clearing surfaces essentially today and getting rid of like recycling and stuff like that. But it's looking good. And then I'm going to like vacuum and um, steam off and everything and wipe down everything. Um, but it looks great. Last night we put the door to the hallway back on because I don't have closet, a closet door yet for that little closet in there. Um, I'm going to run my super about that because he said he was going to get me a door there. Um, anyway, so pop that door back on. Pat painted the first coat last night or yesterday afternoon and then I came back and painted the second coat last night. Um, yeah, it's like a really gloomy, shitty day. So this is actually kind of perfect because I realized today that this was my last full weekend until the end of December. So for all of December, I'm working six days a week because I'm taking the 24th until the new year off. Um, I worked retail for like 15 years of my life. And so I've never had, since I was a child, like a Christmas vacation. So I'm really looking forward to that. I don't really have many plans. I'm just gonna lie down for a few weeks, I think. Um, but so just to make sure I could get everybody in, I'm working six days a week leading up until Christmas. So I'm gonna have three weeks where I just have one day off a week, which is fine, but I didn't like put two and two together that my last like actual weekend, um, full weekend before the holiday season was going to be spent in this apartment doing all these renovations, um, which I'm, I really don't mind. It's, 
maybe I would have just gone for like a walk or something, <laughs> thrown a walk in there. Um, but I mean, today is such a shitty day that it's, I'm more than happy to be inside anyway. Um, I do actually have to go back to my old studio. I need to remove a dresser, a really heavy dresser that I was just using for storage. Um, I'm gonna wait till it stops raining though before putting that out because it's like a solid wood dresser. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then I also just need to take the garbage out. And then I also wanna pick up Max, um, my old friend slash landlord, uh, a nice bottle of wine for letting me rent from him the old studio space. So gotta do that. Um, but first and foremost, I really need to get this into some sort of shape. I'm feeling good. I'm listening to the Guardians of the Galaxy playlist, which um, I don't know why it's like so motivating whenever I'm like, okay, got to get things done. I put it on. I start on track one, uh, Mr. Blue Sky, and it just pumps me up. So random. Um, but yeah, I'm upset. I got brick. I was drilling into brick yesterday. I got brick on my white Ashley Rowe sweater. She does dyeing, like garment dyeing stuff, so I may just get her to dye it for me, but crappy. Um, okay, back to work. She's done enough for you guys to see. So here's where you walk into the studio. I'm just at the front door. There's a mirror here. This was in my old studio. She's cute, so I kept her. Um, obviously, there's my little workspace. Let me put you on 1.5. There we go. Um, so we have this cute little decorative shelf here where I have little glitter swatches, my little angels, some cute little cat candles Pat got me. Um, my friend Vanessa made me this. Amazing. Various, you know, business cards, stickers, that sort of thing. More swatches, my airbrush stuff. I have my little um, tablet down there for people to watch TV while they're getting their nails done. I have a little storage situation there. You can see I have some drill bits I need to put away. Um, my little cutie light with all my airbrush paint. And these stunning coasters Pat bought me. He said they, they reminded him of Aura Nails, which is why he got them. Hang on, there's one more. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> um, they're amazing. And then, yeah, we got my desk, which was the usual setup. Um, same as last time. And then we have all my gels. Two new shelves in this studio versus the old one. So we've got all my gel bottle products that are all like doubled up. And these are all my um, Korean gels from Sweetie Nail Supply. So we've got lots of show me gels on this row. We have some cat's me, izemi, and so on. 
Um, I actually have two more shelves too, which I can add on, which I think I will have to because I just ordered 20 more gels yesterday. <laughs> um then we have my little neon sign there which i love let me turn that down for you so cute i got that on etsy um and my little speaker which actually one of my lovely clients got me for christmas because she was sick of my speaker it's great works wonders um and then i have these cute little slippers for people to put on when they get in and then over here we have the kitchen we have my cat, he's cat light. Um, I had seen him at Studio Brilliantine in Parkdale months ago and then Pat bought him for me and just showed up and I love him. Um, a little kitchenette with an espresso machine so everyone can have a coffee when they get in or tea, because I also have tea. Um, it's cute little mugs and glasses, pods, kettle, the usual kitchen stuff. And then through this little walkway area, I have a little cupboard here, which I have hung curtains, hide stuff in. And then we have the bathroom, which my mom and I wallpapered this beautiful, like corally pink uh, cheetah leopard print. And it has like gold flecks in it. Can you see that? It's really beautiful. It's coming off a bit more orange and brown on the camera, but it's definitely pink. Um, the bathroom's super tiny, so it's hard to show you, but, oh, this is the cutest part of the bathroom. When you open the cupboard, all my little cupboards. These are all my little blind box guys. This will be their resting place. I have a few more to unbox that I need to put in here, and then I need to actually remove my agile. <laughs> there is one other room that I'm not gonna show you yet, because she's still a mess. She's a work in progress. It's basically just like where my break room area will be with like a little desk uh, for processing tools and that kind of stuff. Uh, but right now it's still got some like renovation bits in there, like paint, that kind of thing. So once she's sorted out, you will see her in a future video. But overall, I'm very happy with how my studio turned out. It's very cozy. Uh, everyone seems to be loving it. It's very bright, which is just what I wanted. Um, I think I want to add some sort of artwork here. But aside from that, I'm gonna slowly, if I wanna add anything, I'll do a slow build situation. Um, so as time goes on, I'll add things, but I don't wanna like overdo it in the beginning. But yes, I hope you guys like my new studio. Let me know what you think, if you have any ideas of things I can add in here. But otherwise, I will catch you guys in the next one, bye.